Hello students, in previous videos of human skeleton system, we were discussed about the bones of upper limb and their girdle that is pectoral girdle. Now we are going to discuss about the bones of hind limbs and their girdle called pelvic girdle. Each hind limb has 30 bones which forms thighs, shank, knee and foot. The single longest and strongest bone present in the thighs is called femur. So, femur is the thigh bone. It is the longest bone of the body. Its upper head is articulated into the acetabulum of the hip bone. Kneecap that we called as patella is a small triangular sesamoid bone formed by the ossification in the tendon of quadriceps femoris muscles. It is articulate to femur and lie in front of knee joint. Tibia and fibula are the bones of shank. Tarsals are the bones of ankle. There are seven small bones called tarsals that form ankle. Metatarsals are the bones of foot. Five elongated metatarsals bones occur in the sole. Phalanges are the bones of toes. Two phalanges are found in thumb and three phalanges are found in each of the remaining four toes. This is the diagram of bones of hind limb. This is the thigh bone that we call as femur. This is the kneecap that we call as patella. And these are the bones of shank that we call as tibia and fibula. These are the bones of ankle that we call tarsals. These are the bones of sole that we call as metatarsal. And these are the bones of the toes that we call as phalanges. Next we are going to discuss hip girdle or pelvic girdle. Two irregular broad and massive semicircular hip bones that we call coxae form the arch like pelvic girdle by articulating with each other in front by highly flexible pubic symphysis. Actually, pelvic girdle consists of two coxal bones. The two half of pelvic girdle meet ventrally to form pubic symphysis. Each coxal bone or we can also say as each hip bone is formed of three bones which are separately recognizable in children but becomes completely fused in adult. So, these three hip bones are named as ilium, pubis and ischium. These three bones are fused together and form a hip bone that we called as coxal bone and two coxal bone fuse together and form pelvic girdle. Pubis and ischium are separated by a larger space that we called obstructor foramen. Pelvis region of female is quite flexible to facilitate pregnancy and parturition. This is the diagrammatic representation of pelvic girdle. Here we show the position of pelvic girdle in complete human skeleton system. This forms the hip region of the human body. This is the anterior view of pelvic girdle and this is the posterior view of pelvic girdle. If you see in the posterior view of pelvic girdle, this is the sacrum and cocex of vertebral column. These two coxal bones fuse at the point that we call as pubic symphysis and form pelvic girdle. And each coxal bone is made up of three bones. Their upper broad portion is called ilium and two lower bones that we call pubic and ischium. So, ilium, pubic and ischium fuse together and form coxal bone. And these two coxal bones fuse together at pubic symphysis and form pelvic girdle. So, these three bones fuse to form a hip bone. The point at which these three bones are meet, a cup shaped hollow structure is formed which is called acetabulum. So, this is the acetabulum. Femur articulate with the acetabulum of the pelvic girdle. So, this is all about the hind limb and pelvic girdle. Thank you.